Oh, guys, guys, little double. What do they call it? Multitasking over here, right? Got an event going on. Kentucky Derby. The UFC going on. I stepped aside from the Derby. It's a fundraiser. Doing out here for the wrestling team. I got to talk to you guys about something. I just watched Jordan versus Gracie. This, this is fascinating, but I don't want you to miss what just happened here. What Braun Gracie just did was not a lack of skill. It, it was not uh, being strong in one area and not well-rounded. I think that's what your eyes are telling you. It's not being poorly conditioned. It's not having a bad strategy. It's philosophical. And in the history of this sport, there's only been a few philosophies, right? Bruce Lee would get far more credit than he deserves. Bruce Lee was not a very good fighter. Now, that's blasphemy. That will, that will anger people, right? And Bruce will get a lot of credit, though. All the way up to legit fighters like Matt Thornton, for example, like Conor McGregor, for example. They will come out and they will praise Bruce Lee, but allow me to give Bruce credit as well. His philosophies, while very unpopular at the time he was stating them, mid-60s, late-60s, very unpopular, turned out to be completely correct. Everything that Bruce Lee said to do is what a modern-day mixed martial arts champion does do. All right. But hold that thought, because along comes a year called 1993, and along comes a family called the Gracies. And they have a completely different philosophy, and not in that you shouldn't learn and develop and evolve from all arts. No, but they're the ones that said, hey, you don't have to throw a single punch. You do not have to be a great boxer. You don't have to be a kicker and an elbow and a knee or to, to be an ass whipper. There's other ways. There's other ways besides putting somebody unconscious to make somebody surrender a fight. Right? We didn't even, the term tap out? Excuse me, Bruce Lee never would have used that term. It wasn't a term. I was competing in wrestling since 1987 when I was nine years. I never even heard the term. What's a tap out? The Gracies brought this along. It was a philosophy. Then came a year called 2001. And in 2001, the Ultimate Fighting Championship sold. It changed hands. And when they did that, they brought in something known as athletic commissions, which embraced rules similar to that of Western boxing. All the way down to the rounds. And while in Western boxing, perhaps you're used to three-minute rounds before the break. In MMA, they made it five-minute rounds, but then they had a break. And that completely changed things. They took the gi out. They took some of the groundwork. They took the places where you could philosophically make your opponent use his energy, where you could rope-a-dope him, set him up, and submit him. Big deal. It's a big deal. Because at that point in time, there had only been two philosophies, that of Bruce Lee and that of the Gracie family. You then begin to transition to eras like the Randy Couture era, which was world-class athletes, put an emphasis on condition. You transitioned to the George St. Pierre era. Now, I wish that St. Pierre would come out. St. Pierre has the power, the resume, and the skills to come out like a Bruce Lee with philosophies. He's too humble to do it. I have trained with George. The most valuable part of training with George is when the practice is over and you start to talk. He has philosophies that are not done by anybody else. I only bring this to you because imagine being in Kron's spot. Kron wasn't tired. A lot of people thought he was tired. He, he was not fatigued. That's not why he was going to the ground. That's not why he was pulling guard. Of the two philosophies that have ever been presented to us, ever, by Bruce Lee, rest his soul, and by the Gracie family, what would you do? This is the son of the guy who coined the philosophy. What would you do? What would you do? I'm asking you, what would you do with your father in your corner who has told you since you were a little boy, this is how it's done. This is where you make him use his energy. This, if you stay here long enough, will, will, will start to go to your advantage. How do you put that stuff behind you? How do you say, no, I've got to stand more. I've got to get on top more. I've got to scramble more. Just by example. How would you change a philosophy when it's one of two in the history of the sport and the one that you're going with was enveloped by your dad?